Hello, my name is Lynn Wilder, and today's class is all about half square triangles. I make them eight at a time using two pieces of fabric. I begin with two squares, but you have to know the formula on how to start and determine the size of those two squares, which is available in the book, and we're also making them available as PDF format so you can download them online. You might say, if I saw a quilt with so many small half square triangles, there's no way I would make that. But today I'm going to show you the easy way how to do it. Here is the formula. Now don't be scared because we're going to walk through this step by step in the class. We need to begin with two pieces of fabric, a light and a dark. Now, does it look possible to make eight out of these two pieces of fabric? Well, yes, it definitely is. And if you'll notice on some of these, I have little numbers so that I know which order to show you. In my age group, I need as many prompts as I can get. So we're going to begin with two, a light and a dark, and this is when we're going to use our quarter inch ruler. We're going to mark from corner to corner with our friction pen. Get that in as tight as you can. You don't want to go up and down because then you're losing some threads. And one thing I didn't tell you, and if you'll notice throughout all of the classes, I use both hands equally. When I was growing up, the teachers would always take the crayon out of my left hand and put it in my right hand until about second grade. So I mentioned it to my parents and my mother actually had to go down and tell the teachers, leave her alone, let her be left-handed. But actually they did, give, they did me a great service because I say I am bilingual with each hand because I can do anything with either hand. So I can cut with, with both hands and I can mark with each hand. So we are going to mark both of these squares as closely as you can and then you're going to take it to your sewing machine and stitch directly on the line. We're making these a little oversized and we're going to trim them down so stitch directly on the line. It's easy to do multiples of these at one time because you can prepare a lot of different say colors if you want. You can do 10 sets and with 10 times 8 you can have 80 half square triangles in no time at all. So we've marked those and now we're going to take it to our sewing machine and we're going to stitch directly on the line. But wait, you're probably asking before we take this to the machine, how did I determine what size to make those two squares? So now I'm going to tell you. We want a 3 inch finished half square triangle. So we're going to take that 3 inches and you always multiply it by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And then we're going to add 2 more inches. So I'm going to begin with an 8 inch square in this case and I will end up with 8 half square triangles. Okay. And remember you can always refer to the book or the PDF so that you can commit this to memory because you're going to be using this a lot. And if you have a pattern that you have to make 748 half square triangles and it tells you the finished size, take a look at that finished size, do the math and do them eight at a time instead of two at a time. I've now stitched directly on the lines. Remember this is an eight inch square. First I'm going to make my cuts and this first cut is going to go directly through the crosshairs Again, half of eight is four inches. Line that up and cut. Those are the first two cuts that I want to make. And then I cut diagonally. So just in case all of these little things, the fan goes on and they blow away, you can always do the diagonal cut last. And this is how I end up. Isn't this wonderful being able to cut with both hands? So another little tipsy of the day. Look at this, I've got eight perfect half square triangles. I'm going to take them to my ironing station. I am going to then turn them over because if you take them to your ironing station and then put them on, you're automatically going to be pressing them in the right direction by having the dark side up first. Another little time-saving tipsy. And don't be afraid of making those little half square triangles. You can make them easily three quarters of an inch. So let's go over the formula one more time. We want three quarters of an inch finished. So we take three quarters of an inch, 
times two is one and a half inches. Then we're going to add two inches. So we're going to start with a three and a half inch square. We're going to mark it, stitch, cut all four ways, and we end up with eight, which are easily sewn together. With my formulas, I'm making these a little oversized, so now it's time to trim them down to the perfect size. I want this to finish at three inches, so I need to trim it to three and a half inches, and I'm using the block lock ruler. Get comfortable always setting it up the same way, because you can cut incorrectly. I've lined it up with the three and a half here and three and a half here, and I'm going to cut each side. Now you can either slide it across if you can write with both hands or you can just turn your turntable. Again, I've lined this up to the three and a half, three and a half, and there you go, a perfect half square triangle. So in my next class, I'm gonna be going through Y squares. So you can see from the half square triangles how easy that was. We're going to be building on our skills and we're going to be adding a little bit of complexity, but not too much in the next segment.